Hi, my name is Gabby and welcome to my channel, Gabby on Paper. Today's video is going to be a mid-month check-in. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see here, I right now I have four overspent categories. So let's just take a quick look at that before we get into each um, category that we're gonna go through. I am overspent in cash gifts, gifts, um, my sister's reimbursement category, and then my other's reimbursement category. These two I'm not going to worry about because I'm sure I'll get the this money from my sister within the next couple of days. And this is money I lent to my dad um, just because... So he like lives out of the country and he has an American credit card that he uses for like everyday expenses. Um, and that money is paid for with his American bank account, but he doesn't get money in there. It's kind of weird. I don't know how to explain it. Basically, it's a little late. And um, rather than getting it this week, he got it. He, he will be getting it next week. And he just asked me to borrow a little bit of money to cover his um, credit card bill and pay it off in full. The point of that is, is that I will be getting all of this money, so I'm not concerned about it. Like I said, my sister will probably pay me by the end of this week. Um, and then my my dad, I'll get it, I think it's Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday that I'll be um, getting this money. The rest is just my own spending. I had gifted my sister the rest of her birthday present from October and I just, the meal was more expensive than I had planned because Italy is more expensive. <laughs> Prices have increased a lot. So yeah, that's all that was. And then just like a, a bit of a donation I made um, for $10, so. Okay, so I haven't spent anything in my focus on now categories, which is like Valentine's Day and dates with my boyfriend, things for my birthday, live events, and my boyfriend's birthday. I'm just building it up for things that are coming up in the new year. Um, I haven't spent anything in my saving and investing category group or in my bills. I think my rent and utility fee I'll pay at the end of the month like always. AT&T should be coming up in the next few days but that will be automatically charged to my credit card and then ComEd is also at the end of the month. Subscriptions, uh, all of them have gone through with the exception of PIP sticks and I actually canceled it for this month so this there will not be a charge in December for my PIP stick su subscription. They like announced on Instagram what the stickers were going to be so they showed them all off and I just wasn't loving it except for like one sheet so I've decided to not get charged for the subscription this month and then if I want at a later time if I still want the sticker sheet I'll just order it. <laughs> You know, I don't have to spend, spend $18 for a bunch of sheets that I'm not going to like. Variable expenses. So this is where the majority of my spending really happens uh, week to week. I've only spent $68.18 in groceries, which is crazy because today is December 15th, so we are halfway through the month. I still have $181.82. It's pretty much just two, like one small jewel purchase, which I don't remember what that was for, and then two larger ones for the week. It's very minimal spending because I pretty much, like when we go grocery shopping on Sunday, I buy food for that day Sunday, unless I eat out, and then Monday through Thursday. That's what our weekly grocery trip covers and then fridays and saturday we kind of play by ear we'll go out to eat we'll have like a movie night and have popcorn or whatever so i've been keeping it kind of low and aside from that when things like salmon are on sale or chicken are on sale when they have promotions we'll buy like enough salmon for like three weeks and then like freeze it and just use it each week so one week may be like a larger grocery bill and then the following weeks might be a little smaller and I'm pretty sure that's what happened here. But we are out of all of our meat type things so I will definitely be spending some money this coming weekend. 
Dining out, I did increase my budget to $300 compared to the normal like $250 that I have in there. And that's just because my sister was visiting for a weekend. And when we have visitors, it's a lot more dining out than normal. And I spend $114.26 of the $300. It's not too bad, honestly. This is the weekend that my sister was in town. I only paid for two meals, the third meal my boyfriend treated me to. And uh, yeah, and then we just had some snacks and stuff at the Christmas market that we went to. So that went in my Christmas category. Other than that, we had Lou Malnati's. I had a free pizza with like, there's a point system. So I had a free pizza. So basically just paying for delivery and tip. And this is my half. We, I went out with my boyfriend once to get some Puerto Rican food. And then literally last night we ordered two pizzas from Bob's Pizza. His mom was in town for one night and we were too tired to go out for, to dinner. So we just got pizza delivered. Again, that's for my half. Treats. I've actually spent a good chunk of money on treats. So... $39.74, I actually was not spending, expecting to spend this much. My sister brought me some chocolates from Utah that I can't find here. I'm sure there's somewhere, but I haven't gone looking. I don't have a car, so it's not that easy to just go out and about or whatever. So that's like the very large majority, $24. The rest is just a croissant. We went to a little coffee shop and I got a croissant. Um, vending machine stuff, CVS, must have been candy or something, I don't know, and just things like that. I haven't spent anything in entertainment yet, but I think that will be changing probably this weekend. Nothing in miscellaneous, and then $10 for a small donation that I made. I don't remember what that was for. I think it was something re related to dogs. I don't remember. Okay, <laughs> I was really hoping to have a zero, like not spend any money in this category. That obviously did not happen. So with clothes, shoes, accessories, I spent $74.45. And that is for, um, I bought some things at the, on the website like Bando. Stickers, I want to say they were having a sale. I bought my sister present and I couldn't resist and bought myself some. And then uh, Uniqlo, I bought a blazer. I love the look of blazers, but I've never been able to find one that works. Finally found one that looks pretty good. Like it's the best fitting blazer for me that I have found. My sister wanted to try it on. So we went to Uniqlo when we were just walking by and then I ended up buying it, of course. And then hobbies, I spent $36.47. What did I buy? Oh, right, I forgot. I bought socks and a sticker thing. So this $8.36 was for a pair of socks. And then this one over here was for the stickers that I bought. Then I bought like a note pad thing at Target. I got one for my sister for Christmas as part of her gift and it was so pretty. I had to get one for myself. It's one of the Rifle Paper Co. ones. And then on Amazon, oh yes, I got um, <laughs> a pen. It's like one of those pens that have three different colors on it that is really, really awesome. I just love it. <laughs> I don't know. It's a really nice pen. I used to have it, but I've lost it. I don't know if someone took it or I've left it somewhere or maybe it's in a bag. I can't seem to find it. So I bought a replacement for $6.06. .06. And then in the future, rather than buying the pen barrel again, I would just replace the, the ink. I haven't spent anything on self-care, even though I might, I'm possibly going to get a massage. I'm not sure though if it'll be this month. If they have any sales for Christmas, I will, or in early January. Um, oh my gosh, let's close these. I forgot to close them. Yearly, I haven't spent anything on these things yet. I'm just saving up for when these charges do come. And then for my sinking funds, there's definitely been some expenses. This is really the last category that I look at because the ones down here, like wish farm, wish list, credit card payments, so um, 
we really won't look at those they just don't matter nothing in anniversary that's not till january nothing in travel because we don't have anything planned i did spend 253 dollars and seven cents with my christmas category it's my sister's gift um, I withdrew some money from my nephew's Christmas presents for my sister to take back to Utah with her. Uh, Target. I don't remember what I bought at Target. Oh, yeah. This was also part of my sister's Christmas gift. Okay. Um, we went to the Lincoln Park Zoo for, to go to Zoo Lights, the Christmas market. So this was a pretzel that I bought there. Uh, I bought my boyfriend some stocking stuffers which are the dr squatch soaps that he likes um my sister i'm just reimbursing my sister for hot chocolate that she bought me at the christmas market so i could get the yearly mug we bought some stuff at aldi that were for like our christmas night and some cookie things a star ornament as well i bought an ornament at the christmas market that was so beautiful so i'm so glad i got it and then today I went to a place called, it's like a food hall, um, and one of the places was Happy Lobster, and I got food from there. The reason this is in the Christmas category rather than the like dining out category is because this was like a Christmas event with my work. My team went out for like a happy hour, and it wasn't sponsored by the company. We just wanted to get together and chat before everybody goes home. Um, to either work from home or have the rest of the, the year off. Today was the last day they were all in the office, so we wanted to get together after work and and just, you know, have a nice time. And it was a lovely time. And I don't really drink, so I didn't get any drinks. I don't want to be paying $11 plus tip plus tax for something that I don't really care about. Um, so since we were in a food hall, rather than getting a drink, I got some food <laughs> and I could still partake. So that's what that was on the way back from my work Christmas party earlier this week we took an uber home just because it was late I was wearing heels it was cold so that's for my portion of the uber for gifts I spent a lot of money obviously more than I had available but I withdrew money for both of my nephew's birthday. One of them is this month, and then one of them is very early January. So um, I withdrew money for both of them, sent it with my sister so she can give them cash. And then the th almost 40 bucks that I spent at Italy for my sister's birthday. So in October, I sent her a present, but it was kind of a smaller present. I told her that when she came to visit i would treat her to a meal so that's what that was and then the very last category is home goods i spent 7.96 on amazon what even was that i don't even know i could probably look it up oh yeah swiffer dusters so they were dusters that we def definitely needed again this is my half. Everything that's like home related, Ubers, just things like that, we split 50 50 with my boyfriend and I. So that is a look at all of my spending for the month. Like I said, I was hoping to keep my spending in like the shopping categories low or non existent. Obviously, that didn't happen, but it's okay this christmas is really not going according to plan there's some big changes and i am honestly probably not going to spend much more than this than this <laughs> um on christmas so i may have a few more expenses here but i'm gonna have a good chunk of money left over in this category i'm gonna let some of that roll over to 2023 and my Christmas category, so it makes it a little easier to save up for each month. There'll be a chunk of it that I think I'm gonna to put towards one of these categories or maybe both to build this up because I really wanna get this built up. 2338 is not gonna cut it with the way that I like to 
to buy things i do want to cut back but um i'm not like trying to eliminate it by any means i just want to have a healthy savings a healthy sinking fund for my personal shopping hobbies whatever that's where we are for the month i'm feeling pretty good about these numbers i don't foresee going over an either but crazier things have happened let's take a look at the calendar where's the calendar so that's the 15th i have one weekend here so it might be one time eating out and then work from home this entire week and then I'll probably eat out one of these days as well. So that's about two. And then I have like most of this week off. So maybe like three or four more meals out for the rest of the month. And I just don't imagine going over the 180. That would be nuts. And then in regards to like groceries, I'll do one grocery um, like shopping here. Uh, I have like specific like Christmas money sa uh, saved for like Christmas eve and christmas day food so that's separate and then i'll likely have to get some food for this week but again i'm working from home so i won't be tempted to buy food out it's looking pretty good i am really excited to do my next paycheck budget with me i don't get paid until next week so today's the 15th i'll get paid on the 22nd just one day early because of christmas um, and i'm really excited to start budgeting that paycheck because it will pretty much cover the rest of january and it will have a few hours of overtime so it'll be a little more money than what i normally get i'm excited to start you know really funding some of these some of these focus on now categories because the sooner i get these funded the sooner i can focus my um time and energy and money <laughs> on getting a full month ahead on my rent where's that right here and i want to send a little more to my roth ira so things are looking good thank you so much for joining me in today's video if you haven't done so already make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe bye